Hello, it's Rachel. Mom who does things. Um, I know every mom does things, and so maybe that's a silly title for my channel, but I just, I just feel like I'm a mom who does everything. I have ADD and I do tons and tons of things. So I mainly do gardening on this channel, but I also like to do a lot of crafts and things and just show what I do. So one of the offshoots of gardening or just, I mean, not offshoots, it's a part of one of the mini crafts. I have about, I have like 10 or 15 crafts going on at the t this moment. And most of them are very big crafts. So like, this is one of the smaller ones that I'm going to show you. Um, let me just dive right in because I'm already, I can tell my brain's already just going all over the place <laughs> instead of concentrating on what I need to tell you. Okay, so I got uh, these shoes on sale. They are Dr. Scholl shoes. I love Dr. Scholl shoes. I wear them all the time. Um, and I love little winter boots. However, I don't wear black like ever. Um, I have some black things in my wardrobe. I just don't, I don't like to wear it. It kind of makes me feel a little down <laughs> when I wear it. So I usually wear brighter colors um, and have very little black in my wardrobe. So, um, and then also I thought that the, this, uh, you know, creamy, it's an off white, but it, you know, I tend to mess up stuff pretty quickly. I may keep it, I don't know. But what I'm gonna do is I bought some brown fabric paint. So I'm gonna try to paint Paint the kind of little faux furry stuff here on here. And I have some multi-surface brown paint to paint the um, rubber around here. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna paint this uh, creamy leather pink. And I might try painting some little daisies on it. I don't know. You can do all kinds of designs. That's the kind of cool thing. I was looking into like people painting shoes and people do all this crazy cool artwork on their shoes. I'm not going to do a crazy cool artwork today. I think I could if I put my mind to it, but I just, uh, I kind of, that's not the vision I have for these boots right now. Um, maybe there'll be another pair of shoes that I want to do some kind of intricate type henna design on some or something like that. I do love stuff like that. Um, and then I got some brown velvet, which I think is more orangey and I might not use these. I, um, these are new laces. I have some um, other brown ribbon. They're kind of like uh, clear or not clear. They're like, you know, gauzy, uh, gauze type, um, really chocolatey brown uh, ribbons that I think I probably will use. They just haven't come in the mail yet. So anyhow, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on painting these um, and see where this takes me. Okay, so jumping right into it, I'm just unlacing it. Uh, what I should have done is use, um, clean these down really well, and I didn't do that before I started, um, which was a mistake. Uh, here you can see that I'm using the uh, Jacquard, I think is how you say that, say that textile. It's uh, um, for natural or synthetic fabrics. And I made a mistake with this as well. I just bought way too dark of a color. Going onto the black fabric, that the fabric was very absorbative and it would just suck the, the any paint I put on it up right away. Um, that paint was actually very pliable and kept the fabric um, still very soft. Um, but it was just too light and I should have picked a lighter color. Because obviously I'm painting the rubber. Um, with the folk art multi-surface um, acrylic paints. Um, it can go on lots of different surfaces and it's in the dark brown, um, but obviously it's a much lighter brown than the fabric paint that I'm using up top. Um, and I just should have picked a, um, a lighter brown. I, for the, the fabric paint, I picked um, the 120 brown and that was just way too dark. Um, I didn't really look around to see if there was a lighter color. I just grabbed that one kind of, um, I bought it all off Amazon. Um, and I have no complaints about the paint itself. I just picked too dark, dark of a color. I think the paint is actually probably a really good fabric paint. Um, I just, again, picked too dark of a color. So, uh, in painting shoes, this was kind of the number one brand I saw being used. Um, the Anglis uh, brand, and uh, I had a ton of reviews, and I'm pretty happy with it. 
Um, something that was really interesting is, I don't know if you can kind of see the with the first coat of the leather paint, and these shoes aren't real leather, obviously, but um, with the, the first coat, you could see it was kind of uh, like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It was like the fabric was almost kind of like repelling the paint, and it kept like beating back up. And I would just kind of have to really work it in with the first coat. The second coat was totally fine, um, but the first coat, for some reason, just kept kind of pilling up. So you can see on this one, I'm trying to clean it down a little bit more and rub the paint in a little bit. And I'm still having a little bit of that, um, I don't know, that um, beating up effect of the, the paint just kind of... It's repel getting repelled off the off the fabric um it, it it dried fine and it didn't end up being a problem the paint is adhered very well to the actual um shoe itself so i, I this obviously was not a problem uh, it was just kind of disconcerting at first and i worried about it but it ended up not not being an issue so here i'm going in with the second coat i only ended up doing about two coats of this um uh, leather paint uh, and I, I'm, I'm fine with that. I have tons left over so I could do any touch-ups if I ever scratch it or anything like that um, and I think I did go around and I ended up doing two coats of the brown on the rubber sole part uh, and I did like three coats of the fabric paint and it still wasn't it just was too dark um, but uh, then I had to go around and do touch-ups with the other paint areas that I kind of, as you can see, I'm getting uh, some pink on the uh, rubber uh, sole portion and stuff. So I ended up having to go around and touch up all those things. But all in all, I did about two coats and I, it, and it looks great. It's very opaque um, and covered really well. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm really happy with just how far it went um, and um, the the coverage I got out of it. So just finishing up the second coat on the shoe. Um, I did get a lot on the grommets, but I plan on scratching that off later. Um, I'm trying another coat of the fabric paint. It's just not really showing up because I picked too dark of a color. Again, no fault of the product ex itself. It just was too too dark. Um, here I am going in with a uh, the cream of the Anglis paints. Um, it's still for the acrylic leather, um, and I got a uh, old um, like frosting piper uh, kind of tip, and I'm using that to uh, make the perfect little circles for the little flowers that I'm painting on here. And then I'm going to go back in with my brush and fill those in. So I was really happy with this method. It worked really well. Uh, they even my husband thought that I'd put like little stickers on or something because he was like, oh, they looked so neat and perfect. Um, and normally my hand is not that steady, so um, I I definitely recommend this method of of helping you map out where they're going and how big each circle is going to be. You know the uniformity of using that uh, piping tip. You can use anything. You know obviously. Um, but that was the size that about the size that I wanted. So I was I was very happy with that method. And again, this is just the acrylic paint. I only did one coat of this cream color, and that was plenty um, to to cover up the pink. And I'm going back over. Uh, I don't ha I didn't want to buy a whole bottle of green. Oh, real quick, this I did not end up using this. This got mixed reviews on Amazon. This uh, it's the matte acrylic finisher. People for, for one said it wasn't actually that matte, and then also um, a lot of people said it was still tacky uh, for for months after use. So I ended up not putting that on the shoes. Uh, my shoelaces that I ordered still had not come in the mail, um, so I ended up just putting some ribbons on. And here is the finished product. I'm really happy with how these turned out. Um, I hope they hold up well. Um, oh, there's Momo being all cute. Um, the green dot, back to the, the, the painting, the green uh, that I had, I ended up not buying the leather um, paint in that. And I just used a outdoor um, paint um, from a brand called Yard and Garden. So um, hopefully that holds up, we'll see. Uh, but anyhow, I really love these. They look very 70s-ish to me or something. I don't know. I just, I really, um, I'm very happy with them. I'll definitely 
wear them out here soon. Um, I will say that the where the um, underneath where the laces are, the painted um, I, I, what, I don't know what part of that the shoe that's called, but that rubbed and made a squeaking sound on the underside of where the laces were at. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put a little uh, glue down a little piece of like felt or fabric or something to stop it from rubbing the leather from rubbing against itself and making that squeaking sound. And that's definitely because of because of the fact that I painted it and it just has a different and it doesn't glide over itself like it, it would have um, if it wasn't painted. So just FYI, if you um, paint shoes, you know, and there, there might be any spots where the painted leather might rub on other parts of the shoe, uh, it might make a squeaking sound. <laughs> but I think it's very easily fixable um, for, for this shoe, at least. Um, so I have full confidence that I'll be able to get that to stop doing that. But this is how they look. Uh, I think they're really cute. Um, I'll see. I'll see if other people think they're cute. I don't know. Maybe, you know, everyone's taste is so different. Maybe people think I ruined these or something, but I think I made them really cute for me. I like them a lot. Um, they're very, very much something I, I find adorable and cute and want to wear. So anyhow, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and got some inspiration out of it. Um, even if you don't like what I did to the shoes, maybe it inspired you to do something to your own shoes. So I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.